Barnet Forge Ltd. announced through its LinkedIn platform that it had entered into a significant defense collaboration with French aerospace company Turgis Gallard. The agreement involves co-promotion and joint production of the Eric Medium Altitude, Long Endurance, Male, Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, specifically tailored for India's Ministry of Defense. This partnership signals a groundbreaking moment in Indo-European defense ties, as it marks India's first hands-on involvement in a Western-developed, combat-capable male drone program. Eric, designed by Gallard ASA in France, is built as a modular and durable UAV platform, weighing up to 5,500 kilograms at takeoff. It utilizes a powerful 1,200-horsepower turboprop engine and can carry 3,000 kilograms of mixed payloads, ranging from armaments to surveillance equipment and fuel. With 24 hours of endurance in full combat mode, and up to 30 hours when used solely for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, missions, Eric is optimized for extended operations. It cruises at 450 km per hour and operates at altitudes between 30,000 and 45,000 feet. The drone features a 22-meter wingspan and 14-meter body, enabling it to host advanced optronic sensors, up to 25 inches in diameter, multi-mode radar, secure satellite communications, and both line-of-sight and beyond line-of-sight data links. Armed for strike missions, the UAV can be equipped with either four 250 kg bombs or two 500 kg precision munitions, as well as up to 16 guided air-to-ground missiles with ranges reaching 35 km. The aircraft's weapon systems include dual-mode guidance and sub-10 meter accuracy, all while allowing the UAV to remain outside of enemy air defense zones. Its airframe supports external fuel tanks, boosting mission longevity. Under the newly signed Memorandum of Understanding, MAO, Bharat Forge will oversee the domestic manufacturing of ERIC, establishing an Indian production line that will handle everything from assembly and maintenance to future upgrades and potential exports. This initiative is in lockstep with India's, Make in India, and Atmanirbhar Bharat, strategies, both aimed at reducing reliance on foreign defense imports. The deal has stirred conversations in India's defense sector, especially regarding the role of state-owned enterprises like Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. Some experts suggest HAL should fast-track development of unmanned adaptations of its HTT-40 trainer aircraft to stay relevant in the evolving defense tech landscape. Bharat Forge's initiative is being hailed as a new benchmark for how India's private sector can lead in complex defense manufacturing and innovation. More than just a production partnership, this venture lays the groundwork for India to co-develop advanced aerial systems with European partners. It moves India beyond basic licensed manufacturing into higher-value realms like design, integration, and systems engineering. The localization of components, such as fuselage sections, weapons pylons, and mission-specific hardware, will reinforce India's defense supply chain and improve its prospects for UAV exports on the global stage. On the strategic front, the Eric UAV brings significant advantages for India's regional defense posture, especially amid ongoing tensions with Pakistan. With its ability to conduct long endurance missions and execute precision strikes, the drone provides India a potent response tool against cross border incursions, insurgent threats, and potential escalations along the line of control. Its real time communication capabilities and resilience in contested environments make it a highly versatile asset for surveillance and counter terrorism missions. India's increasing interest in drones stems from the growing need for persistent ISR capabilities and unmanned strike options. As adversaries like Pakistan expand their own UAV programs and continue to support irregular warfare, India must respond with a robust, technologically superior drone fleet. Platforms like ERIC offer a low-risk, high-reward option for securing critical borders and maintaining strategic superiority. From an operational perspective, the ERIC UAV is a game-changer. Its endurance and ISR suite allow India to surveil high-priority zones such as the line of actual control and key maritime choke points like the Malacca Strait. Seamless integration with satellite and terrestrial command networks enables real-time targeting, threat tracking, and coordinated strikes. Designed for battlefield resilience, the drone operates effectively even in communication-denied or GPS-jammed environments, acting as a crucial node in India's expanding network-centric warfare doctrine. 
This joint venture with Turgis Gallard symbolizes a turning point for India's defense industry. Moving from reliance on imported technology to co-developing sophisticated UAV systems positions India as a serious contender in the global defense market. It also sets a precedent for public-private collaboration, skill development, and the kind of indigenous capability building that underpins true strategic autonomy.